Um, I've been to this course before, about four or five years ago. Took back many experiences and practiced a fair bit of what I had learned here. Um, over the years, became a much calmer person. Over the years, realized that I should get out of my box, etc. But having said that, I went back into the box many, many times. Many, many times I would judge people, judge myself, um, also demanded, demanded attention from people, demanded recognition, and forgot the rules that I had for them. So I am here because I know we can always go back. What we take from this conference, we can put into action. I did, I can, I had learned, but I do need reminders. And I had to remind myself. And when I heard of this conference again, even though I had another workshop that I had to run yesterday, and I accommodated that workshop, I knew I had to be here. Because if I hadn't come at this time, I think for the next year or two, I would still be stuck in my box. So yes, it's been wonderful coming to the course. It's been a great learning curve. And I have re-remembered the things that I have forgotten. And I think that's a weakness as a human being. But the forgetfulness that comes in, the times when we get into this river of life that we flow and forget lessons that Allah constantly sends people to teach us. And we forget the people and we forget the lessons that come through. And we continue flowing in this materialistic world, looking at all the bright lights that are there and trying to reach those bright lights. And forgetting that along the way, we need silences to bring us back constantly to what the workshop is teaching us. So that has been my lesson. Also, from the first time that I attended, my salah has always become very different. I communicate with Allah. I just don't read my surahs in salah. I honestly communicate. I've learned meditation from the first workshop as well. It's not perfect. It certainly is not. Because that chatter, chatter, chatter box is constantly there. But I have learned to say shut up to it. And the amusing thing is, in my family, if anyone ever said shut up, I would have said, that's an abusive term, don't use it. And now my children laugh, because they say, why we constantly hear you telling yourself shut up? That I learned from my coach. <laughs> but just out for that, and I'm still learning, still have a long way to go. And as I was telling somebody yesterday, I said, the coach is here as a being, and I need to follow the being. And at times, the light is blocked out, and I do lose my way. But inshallah, that being will constantly keep coming as long as I seek it. If I don't seek it, I'm not going to get it. So in parting, all of you that are here for the first time, you have to constantly seek it. It will not stay with you all the time. Now I have most of the time the word was forget. Can you see this word? She was using the word forget, forget, forget. So now this forget makes you to sleep. And who makes you to forget? Someday that you you will forget. When you forget, you sleep. And when you sleep, you will go into the box. This is a part of our life. Not this workshop, people say that the workshop is not a fixing. There is no fixing, no permanent. Is it not? Nothing is permanent here. Allah. The moment you forget Allah, then you get connected to whom? Then you go and you sleep and go away. So now what happens is, now see the one thing that has happened to you, you learned is, yes, now you are aware, aware. You are conscious that you have gone in the box. You have fallen down. She was, she was aware that she has gone there. I can come back. Now you have a tool, this workshop. Now you know when you fall, 
can come out. Can she do it? You fell down and went there for what? The forgot ocean, the normal situation, you forgot and you went away. Suddenly you realize, you were away, you realize and realize and there is chance to come out. But other people have not done the workshop, what are they? Allah, unless Allah has guided way or some way, they think they are walking and they think they are connected, but actually where they are? It's connected, disconnected. So now you are coming in and out, in and out, Allah knows. Those who are firm, those who are firm, those who are committed, the shaitan has no effect on them. And Allah Ta'ala says, those who come up under me, shaitan has no power over you. And shaitan also will tell, those who come under the protection of Allah, I have no power over them. So now our whole choice to protect ourselves from shaitan is what? What is the key? To come under his protection. There is no other force. When you are committed, are you committed? To committed to be here. And to commit to be here firm, then you will slip and fall. And you will be falling in the beginning. But later on, when your muscles are strong, you will never fall. So in your beginning, you have just come to the workshop, you started learning to walk now. Can you see? You did not learn walking immediately. How many times you fell down and learned walking? Learn swimming. How many times you worked for swimming? The bicycle balance. If you one time you sat in the cycle, you got the balance? No, you fell down, you fell down, you fell down, you fell down. Then one day you won. But are you committed? You will fall. What you will experience is your home. Tomorrow when you go home, tonight you go home, you may shout at your wife. You forgot. Suddenly when you shout at your wife, suddenly you realize you say, okay, I'm sorry. And then you come back. See, that is the beginning of your test. So when you fall down and you come back, you fall down, you come back, fall down, come back. Now your fall is going to reduce. Are you falling very often or are you falling less now? Much less. But you are not willing to practice, follow the practices God has given. And to maintain here, God has given the maintenance program. Is it not? To be there to work out the maintenance program? Five minutes. It's a minimum maintenance program to be connected here. When you are connected and people are there, then the shaitan has no chance to make you forget. It's all your community from sleeping God. You are conscious, developing your consciousness. The more you develop your consciousness, more the forgetfulness is less. Yes, you will use knock it down. He's waiting, there's no opportunity. This is not, he's waiting you how to knock it down. He's attacking in the front, from the back, right, left, every direction, every minute is taking opportunity to knock it down. What do you want? You have to be aware. When you are conscious, you are aware. Now, in the state of this one, you can see your enemy and you can make him fight. And you can fight him and kill him, not take over you. Is it not? Every time I go to the library, I check on the gym. What does Allah say in the Quran? The whisperer when he comes, all this whisperer he comes, say, Ozbun Allah, you must check on the gym. Ozbun Allah, you must check on the gym. That they can whisper you, not you. It's all the same line. Say, Ozbun Allah, seek refuge in Allah. The whole 